All right, we're still in uh, part A, variation of current with voltage, but now we're actually on uh, uh, step four, uh, repeat procedure three for another value of RS, and I've chosen 30 ohms. I've already changed it. Uh, you can see here there's 30 ohms, and there's uh, our rheostat is back to 50. And let me get down here so I can populate our, uh, our uh, data table. This is still data table one, but it's the right-hand side with RS equals to 30 ohms. So let's turn on our uh, switch. Uh, and you can see it, uh, at the rheostat at 50, the, the voltage is 7.5 volts and 0 0.25 amps. Now let's uh, change this to 40. Uh, oops, too much, one, two, three. And 40, now we've got uh, 0 0.29 um, amps and 8.57 volts. Let's put this down at 30, uh, 30 ohms. And its uh, voltage is 10, 10 volts. And current is 0 0.33 amps. Okay, and let's pull this down to 20. Now, a rheostat, we would be able to do this with a rheostat. It's a, it's a piece of, I wish we, I had one to show you. I don't know if they uh, show you, they might show you in the photo. Uh, no, they don't. On the equipment needed, they don't show you the uh, equipment used, but that's okay. Um, a rheostat is just like a, uh, it's got a bunch of wires and you make contact. Uh, the, of course, the more wire you have that you're contacting more wire, the, the more resistance you have. So this is a real, uh, uh, a real test that we're doing. Of course, we're not gonna have the errors, the kind of errors that you get if you do it in, in real life. Okay, let's see where I left off. Um, oh, uh, we're, uh, we're supposed to be at 20, yes, okay, but I haven't taken those readings. 12 volts and uh, 0 0.40 amps. And now let's take this down to 10 and 10 ohms and it's 15 volts, 15 volts and 0 0.5 amps. And that should be um, our data. Next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, hide the uh, the value of uh, you know whatever I choose for value here uh, I'm gonna hide it and we'll uh, uh, we'll run the test and you'll do your your part uh, data table two with an unknown resistance and you have to calculate the resistance all right 